Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. History of the Mali Empire The Empire of Mali was one of the greatest in West Africa. The empire is believed to have been founded in 1235 Common Era by the legendary King Sundiata and lasted until the early 1600s CE. Unarguably, the empire's most famous ruler was Mansa Musa, and it was recorded of him that when he traveled to Mecca on a pilgrimage, he gave out so much gold that resulted in an inflation that lasted a decade. The Mali Empire began with the merging of several small Malinke kingdoms in Ghana around the areas of the Upper Niger River. Most of what is known about the empire's early history was documented by Arabic scholars in the 1300s and 1400s. A king named Sumanguru Kante ruled the Susu Kingdom, having conquered the Malinke people in the early 13th century. Then Sundiata organized the Malinke resistance against the Susu Kingdom. Many historians believe that Sundiata founded Mali after defeating Sumanguru Kante in 1235. The Mali Empire comprised of outlying areas and small kingdoms. All these kingdoms swore allegiance to Mali by paying annual tributes. Citizens were taxed and taxes were also collected for goods coming into the empire. All the gold nuggets belonged exclusively to the king. However, gold dust could be traded and at some point, gold dust was used as currency. Salt, cotton cloth and cowries were also currencies at different times. Mali, and especially the city of Timbuktu, was a world-famous center of learning and spectacular architecture. The Sankara Madrasa, for instance, was a notable center for learning and the University of Sankore, which kept on producing great astronomers, scholars and engineers long after the end of the Mali Empire. Mali's rulers held the title of Manta, which meant master. Mali's founder Sundiata established himself as a strong leader, not just politically, but religiously. He claimed to have a direct link to the spirits of the land, making him the guardian of the ancestors. It was estimated by Arabic scholars that Sundiata ruled for about 25 years. Despite the greatness of the empire, it was often beset with insufficient leadership. Yet Sundiata's son, Mansawali, is regarded to have been one of the most powerful rulers of Mali. Mansawali, in turn, was succeeded by his brother, Wati, who was succeeded by his brother, called Khalifa. Khalifa was considered a particular bad ruler. There are accounts that tell of how he would use bows and arrows to kill people for entertainment. Because of his bad leadership, Khalifa was deposed and replaced by a grandchild of Sundiata named Abu Bakr. The leadership trouble continued even after the ascension of Abu Bakr. There was a coup and Abu Bakr was deposed by a man named Sakura who was not even of a royal blood. He is believed to have been either a slave or a military commander. Sakura's rise to power seems to show that the ruling family had limited power and that the officers of the court held significant power in comparison. Sakura was killed by the Danakil people while returning from a pilgrimage to Mecca. It is argued by historians whether Mansa Musa was the grandson of one of Sundiata's brothers. What is known is that Mansa Musa became an adherent of Islam and went on a pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324, accompanied by 60,000 persons and large quantities of gold. His generosity was so great that when he left Mecca, he had used every piece of gold he had taken with him and had to borrow money for the return trip. Mansa Musa was a wise and efficient ruler. One major accomplishment of Mansa Musa's reign was his commissioning of some of the greatest buildings of Timbuktu. In 1327, the Great Mosque in Timbuktu was built and Timbuktu would go on to become a center of learning. 
at the end of Mansa Musa's reign, he had established the Sankara Madrasa, which subsequently became one of the greatest centers of learning in the Islamic world and the greatest library in Africa at the time. Between 250,000 and 700,000 manuscripts is believed to have been housed in the Sankara Madrasa, making it the largest library in Africa since the Great Library of Alexandria. Mansa Musa conquered 24 cities with the surrounding land during his reign. He died in about 1337 and was succeeded by his son, Mansa Magan. From 1360 to 1390, the Mali Empire suffered under many bad rulers with short reigns. The throne changed hands severally between members of the ruling family and was at a point grabbed by a man named Mahmud, who was neither from Mali nor part of the ruling family. Eventually, Mansa Marijata II was able to regain the throne for the ruling dynasty, but his tyrannical rule ruined the state. It was a court official who finally brought the emperor back on track. Marijata, a wazir, meaning minister, took power and ruled acting as regent through King Mansa Musa II. During the reign of Marijata, the empire of Mali restored some of the power that it had lost during the previous 30 years of misrule. Mansa Musa II was succeeded by his brother, Mansa Maga II. After a year, Mansa Maga II was killed, marking the end of the line of kings which descended from Mansa Musa I. This began the decline of the Empire of Mali, and in 1433, the city was conquered by Tuareg nomads. By the 1500s, the once large empire had been reduced to only its Malinke core lands. During the 17th century, Mali had disintegrated into a number of small independent chiefdoms, becoming a shadow of its glorious pasts. What have we missed out of this history? Let us know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.